TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. Two people accused in the death of a Flint woman back in court Monday. Investigators say the victim weighed 62 pounds when her body was found. Lori Rosebush and Robert Stillwell are charged with first degree murder and vulnerable adult abuse. Investigators say the two were caring for Rosebush's 68 year old sister who was cognitively impaired. Stillwell's hearing starts at 2 p.m. Rosebush's is at 3. Businesses and residents in mid Michigan, Little Bavaria are preparing for the holiday season. Local businesses say this year they have seen an increase in tourist traffic, but at a slower pace. Some stores hope customers will continue to support small businesses as the pandemic winds down. Thanksgiving is only a few days away, and if you are in need of a turkey, there are several giveaways in the area. Premier Provisioning is giving away a total of 300 turkeys Monday in Saginaw, Vassar, and Cairo. If you can't make that giveaway, the fifth annual turkey drop is happening in Flint on Tuesday. The drive through event starts at 2 p.m. at Civic Park School. Now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Raven. It's a cold one out there this evening with temperatures holding in the mid 20s for most locations. Uh, we did get a little bit of sunshine for a few folks uh, this afternoon, but overall it's just been a cold day for us, uh, much colder than normal. We actually got close to setting a few records this afternoon, but we didn't quite get there uh, for a lot of locations. We could have set a record cold high temperatures, but uh, unfortunately we were able to warm up just a little bit. But hey, if you're a fan of the warmth, uh, the warmth that is, then it's not too bad out there. Here's a look at uh, the Birch Run camera where we can see I-75 out there. It is dry, traffic moving along just fine, uh, but those temperatures currently 24 degrees. So any roads that might still be untreated could be a bit of an issue because those temperatures are so cold chilly. It's a little busy out there for a Sunday evening, but overall not too bad temperatures across the rest of the area. As we head into the overnight hours, we get into the lower teens across the north, upper teens to the south, and we'll have a few of those 20s hanging around for portions of the area as well. Those wind chills, though, as long as we have those winds out there and those cooler temperatures, uh, those wind chills are going to stay in the lower teens and single digits for us. And on the hour by hour, we see that we stay mostly dry. There's really nothing in the way of snow moving throughout the area as we head into the overnight hours tonight, but temperatures do cool down, so it'll be a chilly start to here Monday, but thankfully as we get into Monday afternoon, check this out. Temperatures back into the mid 30s for you there on the left hand side of your screen. So we do warm up for tomorrow and we stay warm as we head throughout the rest of the week as by the time we get to Tuesday, we remain dry starting our day on the cloudy side, but we could be able to work in uh, some of that sun as we get into Tuesday evening. So thankfully it's a pretty nice forecast going forward for us. Again, we stay on the warmer side. We've got 40s by Wednesday, uh, 44 by the time we get to Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving doesn't look too bad. Now note that there is a 20% in there. We do have a small chance for some evening showers and by the time we get to Friday, I think we have the better chance for showers on your Black Friday there and right now I think it should be mostly rain because temperatures will remain above freezing and then as we get into Saturday and Sunday, a small chance Saturday before some more sunshine on Sunday, but the big point here is those temperatures holding in the low 40s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.